Jay, can you give us a scouting report on Chenango Forks? Yeah, I wish I had all the answers for that team, but they've got a solid uh, team in have for years. Great tradition, really good coaches, um, quality program from top to bottom. Uh, uh, they may be, be able to run with any team in this tournament, from any size school on up to the smallest ones. They're pretty good. That makes your Ross challenge uh, even greater. It is. It is. It is. I mean, uh, being the defending B champs ourselves, um, you know, we're, we're uh, we've got a lot to play for, and we got a lot of pride in our program too, uh, obviously. But um, they're they're a perennial state champion, uh, and that's a whole other level. So uh, we'll have to bring our A game. Tell us about your own team. I mean, you all uh, have lost during the season and you had a, a, a lot of players replaced. But the team that won the, the sectional title, um, I mean, there's some really exciting things going on with your team. I mean, they've accomplished a lot. Uh, what in your mind is what got your team here to this point in the, the state tournament? I, well, I think we this year, the 2016 team sort of became uh, the, their own team. Uh, in, in other words, they weren't the, the – uh, the, the leftovers from the 2015 team. They became their own team, and I, especially after that loss. Uh, it became the seniors' team, and, um, and that, that was kind of a cool thing to happen. Uh, not a good thing to lose that game, but maybe a good thing in the long run.